Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to create and use static group policy objects in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. A starter GPO is a template for the creation of domain GPOs based on a standard collection of settings. When you create a new GPO from a starter GPO, all the policies in the starter GPO are automatically copied to the new GPO as its default settings. It helps administrators to quickly create new group policy objects. Starter GPOs can only be used to configure settings held under administrative templates. The software settings and Windows settings categories are excluded because they contain references to users, groups, computers, and UNC paths. In larger organizations, you might find that you must create many GPUs, some of which share many settings. If this is the case, you can consider using starter GPUs. If you populate the starter GPU with the most common settings, you can quickly create additional GPUs that contain those common settings. Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. From the Server Manager's tool menu, select Group Policy Management. Expand your AD Forest, Domains, and then the domain in which you want to create a new starter GPU if there are more than one domain. Click Starter GPUs under your domain. If Starter GPUs have not been used before, there will be a button on the right called Create Starter GPUs folder. In this domain, I have never created a Starter GPU, so the Starter GPUs folder must be created before continuing. Click on Create Starter GPUs folder. As you can see, by default, two starter GPUs are created automatically. To create a new starter GPU, you need to right-click on Starter GPUs and select the option New. Type the name of the starter GPU in the name box. In this example, I am giving name taste-starter-gpu1. Optionally, you can type comments in the comments box. Once you type name and enter comments, click OK to create new starter GPU. The created starter group policy object appears in the starter GPUs in msftwebcast.com list. Once the starter GPU is created, you can edit it. For that, right click on the newly created starter GPU and select Edit. As you can see, when you edit a starter GPU object, you only have the access to the administrative templates part of the computer and user configurations. Configure any settings you want to include in the starter GPU and then close the editor window. For example, we will enable the group policies allowing you to block access to removable disk. Under Computer Configuration, Expand Administrative Templates, Expand System, and click on Removable Storage Access. Let's double click on the policy settings named Removable Disk Deny Execute Access. Let's enable the policy. Click Apply. Click Next Settings. Removable Disk Deny Read Access. Let's enable these settings. Click Apply. Click Next Settings. Deny Write Access. Enable these settings and click on Apply and OK. We have enabled three group policies. Deny Execute Access, Deny Read Access, Deny Write Access. Now, close the editor window. Unlike a GPO, the only way you can see a report of settings configured in a starter GPO is to right-click the starter GPO and select Save Report from the menu to save a report as an HTML file that can be viewed in Microsoft Edge. Let's save this HTML file on the Documents. Click on Save. Open File Explorer. Go to Documents. Double click on this report file. 
This will open in Microsoft Edge web browser. Click on administrative templates. Click on removable storage access. Here you can see the configured policy settings for the starter GPO. Close the web browser and go back to GPMC. Click on starter GPOs. Now that the system defined starter GPOs and one custom starter GPO have been defined when creating a new GPO, you have the option to select from a list of starter GPOs in the new GPO dialogs under the source starter GPO menu. The settings from the starter GPO will be copied to the new GPO. Now let's see how we can create a new GPO using the starter GPO. There are two ways to create a new group policy object from a starter GPO. You can create a new group policy object from a starter GPO at the starter GPO's node or at the group policy objects node. First, let's use group policy objects node to create a new GPO using the starter GPO. Click on group policy objects. Right click group policy objects and select new to create a new GPO. Type the name of the GPO in the name box. Select the starter GPO from the source starter GPO list that you want to use to create a new group policy object. You can see all three starter GPOs are listed under source starter GPO. We will select taste starter GPO1 from the list. Click OK. The new GPO has been created successfully. Let's check whether the settings from the starter GPO is copied to the new GPO or not. On left side, click on newly created GPO. In our case, it is taste GPO1. Now click on settings tab. Under computer configuration, click on administrative templates. Click on removable storage access. Since this new group policy object is based on our starter GPO, the policies defined in the starter GPO have already been configured here. Once you create the GPO using the starter GPO, you are free to change any settings that you want. Let's see the second method to create a new group policy object using the existing starter GPO. Click on Starter GPOs. Right click the starter GPO you want to use to create a new group policy object and then select new GPO from starter GPO. Type the name of the new group policy object in the name box. Under source starter GPO, as you can see, taste starter GPO1 is already selected. Click OK. The second GPO using the starter GPO has been created successfully. Now you can link the GPO to any container of your choice and apply the configured settings of GPO on targeted objects. That's all for this video on how to create a new starter GPO and how to create a new GPO using an existing starter GPO. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.